my name is Kaya. I am an early childhood educator here at Hi Mama. Welcome to our online content for families. We'll be sharing some activities here that you can do at home with some minimal materials and that will keep your little ones busy. Today's activity is called the shaving cream rain cloud. Um, in this experiment, toddlers can help squeeze the syringe or droppers from food colorings and practice their fine motor skills um, into the, the paint from the paint or the food coloring. And they can also watch clouds form and kind of create that rain effect. You can also extend this activity by letting the kiddos play with the shaving cream on a table um, or even in the tub if you wanna get really messy. So let's get started for this activity. For our shaving cream rain cloud, we're gonna need some shaving cream, a clear glass with some water, or you can use a vase or whatever clear glass is available. You can use some food coloring, or if you don't have food coloring, you can make some watery paint by mixing paint with water. First, we're gonna pour some water into our clear glass here. Next, we're going to squeeze some shaving cream into the container here. kind of forms a, a cloud at the top here. Next, we're gonna take our food coloring and the kiddos can help with the food coloring as well. If you're using the little droppers, they can help pinch them in. I've got some watery blue uh, paint here. The kids can also help either use a syringe if you have them at home um, or even like an eyedropper and they can help pour them in or they can help you holding the cup there. So we're gonna slowly pour the paint in, the watery paint. It'll go through the clouds and eventually create a rain cloud effect. Cool, so you can see the rain coming down on the sides there. So this activity can actually be extended several different ways. You can start asking some prompting questions to your children, like how are rain clouds formed? Um, what happens when the uh, paint goes through the cloud into the water? What do you think clouds are made of? Why are the clouds there? You can really extend this activity in many, many different ways. So um, feel free to take this activity maybe into the bathtub or outside into a larger scale if you have some warm weather and like a giant kiddie pool. Um, lots of different things you can do. Even mixing colors, you can get really different effects with that as well. Feel free to mix some of the primary colors and see what secondary colors you get. And that will really extend the activity into completely different topics as well. So thank you everyone so much for watching and joining our very first activity online today. Let us know what kind of content you like to see and stay tuned for some more activities later this week. Bye.